Okay, so let's say we want to add a variable to a method. I've got a method open right here. This is just a high trap desalting uh, column method. It's a little tiny five mil method. And uh, for this example, let's just say, keep it simple. Let's just say we want to add the column position um, to this method as a variable. So here in the column equilibration phase, we're gonna open this up and we'll find the column position instruction. Uh, you'll notice uh, over here for this instruction, down here in the instruction box, that uh, for the column position, um, this button right here labeled VAR, the A and the R are lowercase. That means there's no variable. So we'll click on this and we just name the variable. Keep it simple. Okay, so now the A and the R are capitalized, which means we've uh, put the variable in the instruction box, but it's not in the method yet. Because you see here on this line, there's no hashtag column position. The hashtag uh, identifies the variable, so that's because we have to hit this change button right here. So we're gonna hit change. And now you see the column position is right there. If we want to add this variable to a scouting run as well, so we'll just hit the scouting button right here. And you notice there is currently only one variable listed um, in the scouting run and that's load volume. So we can select here this button which says select variables. And then we'll just go find the column position which lucky for us is the first um, box up there. We'll hit OK. And now you'll notice that we have um, column position one added here. So if I wanted to, you know, I can change, I'll insert a run here. I could change this to position two now. So now I have two different positions. I'm gonna hit okay here. And now um, it's kind of hard to see because I have this blue bar in the way for, this is for the uh, remote desktop that I use, but there's this little hat, like star right here after the P in high trap. That means we haven't saved the method yet. We gotta save the method. And so now when we run the method over in the uh, systems control module, we'll actually see the new variable available. Thank you very much. I hope this helps. Have a nice day.